come. So in the end, you've chosen to trust that man. You're more naive than I thought, Maxwell. Tell us what your purpose is for bringing us here. We will stand and fight against those... invaders. If you intend to challenge them yourselves, we won't attempt to stop you. But first, there's something you need to tell us. I want you to tell us what you know about the schism. What's that? Two millennia ago, I cast the spirit art, Schism. It created a new world and sealed it away. That world is yours. It is known as Riza Maxia. Did Mila just say... that she created the entire world? Wow! She's like a goddess or something! It was for protecting spirits and humans. Riza Maxia is sealed. That implies the existence of another world outside the Schism, does it not? Yes. And that world is called Olympias. I was gravely mistaken about the Lance of Kresnik's true purpose. Exodus convinced Noctigal that it was a weapon, but all along they were plotting to create a device that would dispel the schism. Dispel the schism? To what end? I do not know. I wonder if perhaps they were looking for a means to siphon mana back to Olympias. No. All Exodus ever wanted was to go home. Back home to Olympias. It's all we've wanted for more than 20 years since we became trapped in Riza Maxia. We needed to find a way to either break through the schism or dispel it completely. But in order to dispel the schism, they would have to find a way to eliminate its creator. I see. So that's why Exodus kept trying to kill you. It doesn't add up. What is Gillen's master plan? I'm confused. I still don't understand. Gillen's actions are not going to get Exodus home any faster. He didn't need to bring the whole Olympian army. In unifying Riza Maxia, that was never our original intention. Gillen must intend to make use of Riza Maxia with the schism intact, but for what purpose? That's it. The Otherworld Reactor Plan. What? Huh? The hell's that? Most folks knew it as the Spirit Fuel Plan. That sounds bad. I remember my cousin telling me about it when I was still a kid back on the other side. Something about capturing spirits, and using them as fuel for Spyrexes. So you're saying Gillen's ultimate goal is to corral all the spirits? But that doesn't make sense either. If all he wants is spirits, then why bother with the lies? Unless... he's planning on trapping us in Rize Maxia for our mana lobes. He seeks to use the people of Riza Maxia as a power source? The man is insane. Gilland most likely returned to Exodus HQ on the ocean. The Olympian army is with him, so getting there by boat won't be easy. Well then, perhaps we can commandeer one of the flying ships they have docked at Kambalar. Oh yeah, right, because that sounds easy. It may indeed be our only option. 
Very well. We attack tomorrow. Wait a minute, Gaius. Aren't we gonna team up on this? I mean, we both want the same thing, so... It's not a social gathering. Just how stupid are you anyway? It was Maxwell who created the schism, and trapped us all inside of it in the first place. Imprisonment is not so easily forgiven. It's entirely possible. We may end up fighting each other again. I'm sure you can understand why we're not ready to get all buddy-buddy with you. Like I said, do what you want. Just make sure to stay out of our way. Can you believe it? The nerve of those guys! They must be shorthanded. Why else would they share that kind of information with us? Despite what they said, I still believe that they are counting on all of us. For now, at least. Didn't we agree that I would kill you for this sort of thing? Good luck killing me when you're dead. You got a message earlier today. What did it say? What's it matter? At first, I thought you were just in shock over Gillen's betrayal. But the timing wasn't quite right. My mother is dead. It happens. All humans die. Is that your idea of sympathy? <laughs> First Gillen betrays me, then my mother dies. Life sure is peachy. Do you still want to return to Olympias? What other choice do I have? But I'm not going to die. What's that got to do with anything? Would you consider staying in Rizamaxia? What? Would that be so terrible? You'd be with Jude, and me, and everyone else. You're the first person to offer me something like that after finding out who I really am. You're out of your mind. You wander off again? Sorry to wake you, kid. You didn't. I can't sleep. So what happened with you today? What's with this sudden interrogation? You just have me worried, is all. Do you still want to go back home to Olympias? <sighs> Worry about your own problems, kid. Hmm? You want to protect Mila, right? No, she can protect herself. I just want to make sure she wins. I think that's the kind of help she needs most. Huh. So you want to stay with her forever, then? What? Alv... What are you talking about? You won't have any reason to stay with her once this is all over, you know. I know. If you don't tell her how you really feel, someone else will beat you to the punch. You can't just count on destiny to work everything out for you. Fate doesn't have your back. Yeah, I know. I just... Maybe I need more time. You really do listen to everything I say, don't you? Huh? Nighty-night, kid. Can't sleep? 
No. <laughs> me neither. You don't want to ask me anything about what I revealed earlier today? No, no. You did the right thing. The just thing. At least I hope so. Justice is a complicated concept. It means different things to different people. And what is justice to you? <laughs> I thought this wasn't a social gathering. Answer me, Maxwell. It is the power of will that resides within one's heart. <laughs> in this, we are both in agreement. Those with this willpower bear a responsibility to this world. The strong must protect and guide the weak. Gaius, weakness isn't an affliction of the body, but of the heart. The world will always have weak-willed people, but that in itself isn't a bad thing. Then we must protect the weak until they can become strong. That is our duty. We? Yes. All who are strong must look after the weak. It is the only way to ensure that future generations will have sufficient strength as well. So that's your solution to the problem I posed in Fezabel Marsh. As I told you then, I can chart a new future for mankind if I just have enough power. But if a man like Gillen takes the stage, a man who can only use power for his own gain, then mankind will be doomed to repeat the same mistakes. I see. But I'm afraid it's not up to me to approve your answer. Your concept of justice is your own. It's not my place to interfere. <laughs> As you say. The two of you sure are alike. How so? No matter how extreme her words are, I think there's always truth to them. I get the same sense from you. Do you want to be like Maxwell? I wouldn't mind it, although I know that's impossible. I see. We should probably get some rest. Yes. The showdown's tomorrow. How do you intend to hijack a ship that's docked in the sky? We'll use the wyverns in the castle. You have to get there first. I have no intention of sneaking into my own castle. We shall march up the main road and reclaim it. What? You can't be serious! Indeed. At the very least, you should split into two groups, create a diversion. Keep your tactics to yourself, you old fart! Jude, do you know what you have to do? Of course. I have to help Mila win. It's that simple. Then let's go. There's a path leading into the city off the side of the temple. Oh, why can't we all stick together? <laughs> what shall we do? Let's see. We can take that side path from the temple into the city, then move along the roofs to the castle. From there, we can both capture the flying battleship and retake the castle and its soldiers. Meanwhile, Gaius and the others will create their diversion. Sure would be nice if they let us in on their plan for once. Anyway, let's go. You got it. Everyone, get down! Say that again. Jude, behind you. Huh? You gonna gawk all day, kid? Let's go. All right. They appear to be struggling. Shouldn't we help them? Uh, 
Their diversion will be for naught if we join them. We have to save His Highness. Don't let them lay a finger on His Highness or the civilians! The people really do love him. If I'm not mistaken, your job here is still to help Mila win. That's right. Let's go, Leia. Gotcha. the bridge that it up there repel the hostiles we'll have to fight our way through come on how many soldiers does this tub carry <laughs> Let's split into two groups. One group can run over to the bridge and bring the ship to ground level. Good idea. That way Gaius and his crew can reinforce us. Then we can break through these troops. All right, then the question is who shall go? <laughs> I'm gonna stay here and fight. Mila, you should go. Are you sure, Jude? <laughs> I couldn't help overhearing your plan with these perfect ears of mine. Isn't that... That idiot survived. Hit the showers, fraud. The curtain just closed on you. I'm the new star of the show now. Thanks, Ivor. I'll rest. I could use a breather. No, 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 no! This is all wrong. Now you're supposed to explode into a jealous rage. Uh. Okay, in that case, I'll take care of it. Ha! You think I'm just gonna let you play the hero? Gangway! You've gotten pretty good at handling him. Nah, that just kind of popped into my head. Well, he totally ignored Mila this time. Maybe he's obsessed with you now, Jude. But if he pulls his own weight, I have no complaint. Anyway, let's go. Finally. I have seized control of the ship. Drop your weapons and surrender. Ivor, set us down on the ground. What do you think I'm trying to do? Fly loop de loops? Uh, this button maybe? Uh, no? Hmm. This must be it. Idiot. What do you do this time? Hopeless as usual. Quite a predicament. Can you tell us anything about these things? Now's hardly the time to chat. You're under attack. Glad that's over. We'll take over from here. Gaius probably didn't need us after all. Lady Mila, are you unharmed? Yes, thanks to everyone but you. What? 
ship is ours! <laughs> Let's return to the castle. Here, let me help you up. How long until we can set sail? I have every available man working to get the ship's systems under control. It may take a few hours. Looks like we still have some time. Let's rest until then. So, I hear the pimple wants to be a nurse, hmm? I bet it's because of that boy. So, so what of it? Don't play innocent with me. It's obvious that Jude gets you all hot and bothered. <laughs> what? That's ridiculous. But you know, I have to admit my opinion of you has improved. Huh? Really? If you think with your heart instead of your brain, you'll end up killing some patient on accident. It'll be hilarious! You don't even care if your efforts end up killing people! That won't happen. Oh, that's right. That boy's got the hearts for Maxwell, the older woman. That means no loving for you! <laughs> huh? Huh? Who's there? You wish to speak with me? You told me earlier you have a booster implanted in your body. Why would you do such a thing? Why? <laughs> if you have to ask, then you'd never understand. But you're still just a young man. How could you throw away your life? <laughs> the answer is simple. I await my opportunity to kill the king. What? That is your reason? Gaius is worthy of the throne. That is undeniable. So I was left with only two options. Resist or submit. You are a strong young man. No, you're just a weak old one. I have given a lot of thought to what you said earlier. It would seem that Gaius is capable of leading his people down the correct path. Are you saying you'll support him? Gaius may be Rashagal's only hope now that it has lost its king. I shall summon Rashagal's finest warriors here before the battle with Exodus. With your permission, of course. A wise decision. Hey, good looking. Come here often. Think you can charm your way back into my life? You make me puke. Cut me some slack, will ya? After all, we finally get to fight side by side again. I'd sooner kill you. Easy there. Come on. It'll be just like old times. You expect me to forget how many of us died because of you? That's ancient history. I was captured too, you know. Do you have any idea what I went through? <sighs> I thought I'd found my place in the world by your side. Don't expect me to forgive and forget. Being tossed away once was enough. Pressa, I request your presence. I need your opinion on how to integrate the Rajagal soldiers into our own. Sure, I'll be right there.
See? Your new friends need you. You found your place after all. Are the others around? It's just us. You still trying to figure out why Zhao saved you? Yes. Mila and Rowan weren't any help. They were like dead guys tell no tales. That's not true! They didn't say it like that! Tipo's got a point, though. When someone passes away, his secrets die with him. But I remember something my parents told me once. They said that people who die are reborn as spirits. If that's the case, maybe the dead are always with us. Even now. We just can't see them. And that means we have to protect them. I see. You're right. Why are you standing out in the cold? Huh? What's wrong? Nothing. Don't worry about it. Are you sure? Maybe you should sit down and rest for a bit. Yes. Maybe this is simply fatigue. I'll take up your offer. Hmm? Feeling any better? Not really, but don't worry about it. Maybe if we just chat for a while, this will pass. Okay, sure. So, uh, what's the outside world like? Olympias. What do you wish to know? Well, stuff like the climate, how the people are, things like that. I don't really know. Huh. Is that strange? No, I just figured you'd know something. But it sounds like it's been some time since you've seen it. Well, I don't think it's a matter of memory. I simply just don't know. Hmm. Oh, don't worry about it. I was just curious, that's all. All I know is that Spyrex use is rampant on Olympias. Why would the people there rely on Spyrex instead of just using their manalopes? Using Spyrex is easier. No doubt the temptation was just too strong for them. I have a question for you, too, actually. What is it? Do you... Uh... Uh... How do I put this? You sure everything is okay? You're acting weird today. The ship is ready for departure. Please return to the castle. I guess we should head back. Ah! Muse, don't scare Jude like that. Mila, may I speak with you in private for a moment? You two can catch up. I'll just wait back at the castle. What did you want to talk about? You must never forget that the safety of the schism depends on your survival. I understand. Wait, is that it? Yes. I thought it best to remind you on the eve of a dangerous battle. Heed my words, and nothing will go wrong. Anyway, shall we go? Wait. You wish to ask me something? Lately, I often feel like my actions are fraught with contradiction. This has never happened before. Do you know the reason why? Do you mean you feel you're putting people in danger when it's your duty to protect them? <laughs> you're imagining things. Elder Sister knows best. Now let us go. This isn't just my imagination. How did I always ignore these things? It's clear that Maxwell's mission and my own actions contradict each other. 
If you eliminate the impossible, whatever remains, however improbable, must be the truth. How's egg principle? In that case, who am I? Mila, what are you doing? Aren't we heading to the castle? Yes, 